Do you see a woman behind a desk at the White House? As opposed to under a desk at the White House? <laughs> I don't see a woman that I want to support right now, but I think it's not mm -hmm. important what color or what gender. I think I just want someone authentic. I think if you published who gave large donations to their campaigns, then you'd have a better idea of where they actually stand on things. I know, but you have this problem in America, and I sometimes wonder if it's ever going to go away. America? No. <laughs> I didn't understand how your head of your country found our head of our country so interesting that he actually became so... Well, I so think it was jet lag, really. <laughs> <laughs> well, that makes sense, then. I couldn't quite understand what they had in common, you know. Clinton, maybe, with the saxophone and the whole thing, but Bush, that seemed like such a strange bedfellow. It is, and I think his wife feels the same. <laughs> Tim is interested in the same thing, Tim Robbins, your husband. We agree. We have the same moral bottom line, yeah. Well, your marriage has been so enduring, hasn't it? Well, we're not married. Well... <laughs> <laughs> that might be why it's lasted so long since... <laughs> it might be. We have real estate and children in common, but no marriage. My husband and I, I think we were too hasty in tying the knot. Really? I think we were, in retrospect, we had so much to learn about each other. We learned the hard way. Is there anything that you discovered about Tim after living with him for a while that tested your tolerance and your patience? Any little thing? He's very sloppy. Sloppy? Yeah, he leaves. I think, you know, men can't really spray their territory, so they just leave their clothes everywhere. <laughs> well, that's my My theory. husband did spray his territory. <laughs> Unfortunately. Mm. Well, then I'm lucky, aren't I? You are. That was I'm towards the end, mind oh, you. Oh. <laughs> but you are 12 years older than Tim. 12 yes. years older, though yes. you look so adorable and lovely. Thank you. you are the Judy to his Richard. <laughs> and, uh... Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you for translating there. <laughs> I wish I'd picked a younger man. I mean, finding your spouse on the bathroom floor with the word prostate written in soap on the mirror. <laughs> it, was... <laughs> it was a terrible moment, oh, Susan. That's terrible. I'm smiling in pain, actually. <laughs> I suppose an unwillingness to walk down the aisle could be because you were married before. I was. You were a long time ago when you were young to a Mr. Sarandon. Coincidentally. <laughs> <laughs> this is a spooky coincidence. Yeah. But you took his name, didn't you, I Susan? did take his name. Well, it's a lovely name, Sarandon, it's Sarandon isn't Sarandon's it? okay, yeah. And, uh, well, I'm a little embarrassed now because I've got a surprise for you. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> Thanks to Pan Am. I've arranged a reunion for you with someone who played an important role in your past. Yes! Your past is going to come rushing back. You I hope are. I remember. What was his name? Who? Your husband. <laughs> Chris Sarandon. Chris Parsons, creator of the Rocky Horror Show, Richard O'Brien! Kissing and hugging everyone there, Richard. <laughs> Look how handsome. Isn't he? I was talking to them about the time yes. warp earlier, and my daughter Val May loves it. Why don't we do it? <gasps> do you think well, we should? Me... Well, it's not difficult yeah, because, because the moves are all in, in, the, in the words, well, aren't I'll, they? I'll to Come along. Husband. In a line, please. <laughs> In a line. I sit here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Music maestro, please. The time warps again. Two, three, four. It's just a jump to the left. And a step to the right. With your hands on your head. You'll bring your knees in tight. But it's a pelvic struggle. Can we even guide your wings? Say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah.
Yeah. Richard, that is lovely. Thank you, Possum. I must insist you get back to your treatment now. I love it. I've lost, I've lost 20 pounds since I've been here. <laughs> I still can't find it. Look your down the hair is not going to grow back unless you go back into treatment. Popping out. Ooh. In and out. I'm going to have some one-on-one. Bye-bye. Richard O'Brien. That little bit of physical activity. I think we need a comfort stop. See you in a moment. Oh.